Prior to the operation, which was conducted at Parenya to a group of hospitals on Thursday last week, the 29-year-old lady from Rugare suburb in Harare had her own fears. <laughs> Having gone for five years without conducting open heart surgeries owing to a number of challenges, the team of specialist doctors and nurses at Parenyatwa, led by specialist cardiovascular and thoracic surgeon Dr. Simukai Machawira, also had reservations. It was uh, a cause for, of anxiety for both the patients and us as um, uh, the operating team. Uh, this on the background that it had been about five years since we had done a case locally. And we are happy that everything worked out very well and here she is and she's also able to give um, a side of the story about how she felt and how the operation went, went very well. Among the 30-member team conducting the operations is a group of anesthetists. Among the 30-member team conducting the operations is a group of anesthetists led by cardiac anesthetist Dr. Shodi Kajesem. The, the, the process for putting a blessing to sleep was um, uneventful. Uh, we had anticipated that uh, we, we, the heart is not going to respond the same way that a usual heart uh, responds. So we had to take all the necessary precautions to make sure that everything goes according to plan. So it had to be a very slow and careful induction and maintenance of uh, anesthesia uh, so that whenever, well, when they were operating, everything is going according to plan. Since last week, two open heart surgeries have been conducted, with the second patient whose operation was done this Thursday recovering after a successful three and a half hour operation. Parenya to a group of hospitals is the only hospital in Zimbabwe conducting open heart surgeries with plans underway to decentralize the operations to other government hospitals countrywide. Abigail Tembo, ZBC News, Harare.